Hey guys, Caddix2 here, back with another episode of Danganronpa, right where we left off, alright? Let's get right into it. But the teddy bear just exploded. Yeah, that means it's, it's done. broken for it good. It should be done. Yeah, right. That's it's not. not a... Sword, you, you explosion. I'm Monokuma. <laughs> 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 I am not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. Oh, Taki Mushrooms, there's another one. <laughs> of course I tried to kill you. You can't just go around breaking the rules. Oh, if you break the rules on me, I'll just kill you. That seems fair. I'll let that one go with just a warning, but you should be more careful in the future. Bad rule-breaking children won't get away with just a spanking here. Hey... Uh, are there, like, a whole bunch more of you? Monokumas have been deployed to numerous locations throughout the academy. In addition, surveillance cameras have also been installed inside the building. If anyone is discovered breaking the rules, expect more fabulous corporal punishment. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. And next time, I won't miss. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. Th this is insane! And finally, there's something I'd like you guys to have. Call it a welcome gift. It's your very own student ID. Pretty neat, huh? I call them Electro IDs. Electro, because they're electronic, and ID, because they're IDs, but even cooler. How original. The name he came up with. <clears throat> anyway, don't go losing your Electro ID or anything. It's the only way you'll be able to perform the Sachiko Ever After ritual and escape. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that, wrong, let's wrong play. game. Don't wrong go losing let's your electro play. ID or anything. It's an indispensable part of life here at the academy. When you turn it on, it'll display your real name, so make sure you've got the right one. After all, these babies can be used to do more than just identify you. Also, electro IDs are totally waterproof. Take it for a dip, it won't break. It's preeminently durable as well safe to up to 10 metric tons. It also contains a detailed list of school rules. You should all read through them very carefully. As I've been saying again and again, violating the school's rules will not be tolerated. Rules exist both to restrict and to protect. Peace could not exist in our society without the law. And the same thing goes here. For that reason, rule breakers will be strictly punished. Well, I think that about does it for our entrance ceremony. Enjoy your bountifully grim academy life. I'll be seeing you again soon. And then Eight. he left. The rest of us just stood there dumbfounded. Okay, I've got a question first. Rules, like he said, don't break the rules, but yet you can murder one, each, one another. Well, so... that's part of the rules. But he said like... We want to keep the peace, but at the same time, go murder each other. Yeah, that's Just a saying. little bit confusing, but he yeah. wants us to murder each other within his set of rules, basically. Oh, oh, of course, of course. Just yeah, that makes so much more sense. While murdering people. W would Sounds someone great. care to tell me what exactly that thing was? You want to know what it was? I don't even have the smallest, slightest, fudge all shred of a clue. Our whole lives here, or could kill each other. Her glasses were crooked. What? Wh what? What is this? Calm down, everyone. Right now, we need to focus on making sense of what we've just been told. It sounds like we have two options based on what the Monokuma character was saying. First, we can spend the rest of our lives here together in the academy. Or... We can kill someone and leave here alive, yes? Who could do something like that? So we've been kidnapped and locked in some school-esque facility. And then told that we must kill one another. What on earth is going on here? This isn't happening. No, 
This is much too ridiculous to be anything but a sick joke. Maybe it is a joke. Or maybe it's all true. That's not the problem. No, what we should really be concerned about is whether someone here took it seriously. Those words left everyone speechless. In our silence, we traded glances. From gazes desperately struggling to see inside each other's hearts, there emanated a tinge of animosity. Nagi, are you a poet or something? Yeah, really though. A lot of them are poets here. Yeah. And then, in that moment, I came to understand how truly terrifying this place's rules were. You can't get out unless you kill someone. Those words left me with a terrible thought which took root in the far reaches of my mind. Seriously, who thinks like this? Will I be betrayed? That thought marked the beginning of my new life. But the academy to which I'd come, overflowing with expectation, was not Hope's Academy. It was... UNHOPE'S ACADEMY! <laughs> Same thing. Pretty much. Despair Academy. And the prologue is finally over. Hey look, Ooh. a convenient survivor's chart. I'm sure that's gonna be useful in the future. Definitely. To be continued, like right now. <laughs> I feel like dancing. This is such sweet music. Let's see if I can just turn it up a bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh man. I feel like I feel this, like is, this full is full of spoilers. Full of spoilers. <laughs> oh man. We just said that like at the same time. Yeah, we did not plan that, guys. Although I wish we did. Okay, that was pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Obtain the present school insignia pin. Whoops. Save data. Yes. Good idea. Absolutely, we should definitely save that. Yep, we read this. Fear and anxiety sweeped it, or er, seeped into me, spreading until they had taken complete control. I'd feel the room's intense atmosphere pressing down menacingly upon my shoulders. That sounds like another thing from Corpse Party. It was all I could do to bear the weight of it. Bear the weight of it. Hey. Mm, everyday life. Kill free or live said, hard. I thought that said hill free or live hard. I was like, hills. That ominous air, we've all been standing in this exact position for, like, three minutes now. <laughs> Was shattered by the blunt force of her words. Who's her? So, what are you going to do now? What are we gonna do now? Were you just gonna stand here, staring at each other? The harsh bite of her words was directed at everyone in the room and was like a cold shower, those words yanked us all back into reality. Ah yes, of course. There are times when we must push forward, no matter how frightening or uncomfortable the situation may be. How could I have forgotten something so fundamental? I'm deeply ashamed. 
Would someone be so kind as to hit me? I cannot forgive myself. Hit me, I beg of you. If you got enough energy to make all that god dang noise, how about you move your ass instead? And what specifically is our quest, Master? Her, we're gonna look for a way out of here. Well, while we're at it, let's find out who's driving that weird-ass teddy bear and beat the crap out of him. But... Oh, but first, shouldn't we check our Electro-IDs? I think it'd be best if we looked over the rules Monokuma mentioned before moving around too much. Ah yes, we wouldn't want our ignorance to invite another spectacle like the one we just witnessed. <laughs> Such a stereotypical anime tough boy to do. <laughs> yeah. Then like, let's do this. Fancy. Powered up my Electro ID and the first thing that appeared was my name. Looks like Monokuma was telling the truth about that. I don't see why he wouldn't. <laughs> From the menu that displayed next, I pressed the la button labeled School Rules. And there on the screen appeared a bullet point list of the regulations we were expected to follow. Students are to live out their- It says it right there. It says it <laughs> right there. You don't need to do that. Yeah. Okay. It's... Sure. Sleep in the bedrooms. You can investigate freely. Don't punch Monokuma. Provided his crime is not betrayed, the villain who kills one of his companions will graduate. And Monokuma can add more rules. Starting to feel a little vertigo, I turned my head away from the screen. I, gr I glanced around the room and saw the sullen expression on everyone's faces. This guy swears too much. I can't really voice him because my door is open and there's kids in this house. Do you want me to voice him? You can. I like his hair. Let me voice him. The F is this she at? Like, I'm going to let myself be pushed around by some dumbass rules. Then why don't you just continue on your merry way and pretend the rules don't exist? Oh, snap. <laughs> I, personally, am rather curious to know where the penalty is for violating one. I think we know that it's a bomb to the face, probably. <laughs> So she was basically just like, break a rule and explode. See if I care. Pretty much. Well, where did we, were he to do that? Master Mondo Uwata would have no extra lives remaining. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. When I, I was still a twerp, my big bro always used to get on my case. About how a man keeps his promises even in death. What are you even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so... Still got promises I ain't done keeping. Okay. So there ain't a chance in heck I'm dying now. I can't say I understand, but either way, can we take that to mean you'll be following the rules then? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Guys, um, I have a question. Rule number six here, what do you think it means? You mean the part that says, provided his crime is not betrayed to the other students? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. If you want to graduate, you just have to kill in such a way that nobody finds out it was you. What? Why? For plot reasons. <laughs> Don't concern yourself with the why. Just follow the rules you've been given, that's all you need to know. People who need their hands held to accomplish anything have no right to ask questions. Oh snap. Such poignant words. You mean pointed? 
Anyway, enough with all this stupid murder stuff. We... We know the rules, so we can start looking around now! Where exactly are we? Is there any way out? Do we have provisions and supplies? There's a mountain of questions in need of answering. Hell yeah! Let's get this show on the road! I'm going alone. <laughs> Say what? Is there something wrong with your head? Like, seriously, why would you do that? Someone in this room is probably already plotting their way out of here. And you expect me to get... And you expect me to let any of you get anywhere near me? Nobody here cares enough to murder you. Calm <laughs> down. Oh, wait. Nobody here. Dash. You can't be so sure of that. Why is he looking down? <laughs> because he he towers over above everyone because he's like a super he a rich titan. dude. He is a titan. He's just way taller than everyone else. Nor are you. Just look at how scared you all were when Monokuma explained graduation. Or was that something else? Uh, um, uh... Dot dots. I am going to do what I want to do. Oh, stubborn much? Ah, quit your beaching. You ain't going anywhere, crack snuckles. Be gone, Plankton. <laughs> Plankton's a great insult. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Gonna use that insult next time. You are but one individual plankton drifting through a vast ocean. Try as you might, you're not but the tiniest, most <laughs> inconsequential of existences. <laughs> Sounds like someone wants his teeth kicked in. S stop it, guys, please. Fighting isn't going to solve anything. Well, aren't you just a little sweet talker? You think some kind of teacher? Oh, you think you're some kind of teacher? You trying to preach at me? No, no, I just... Then shut your trap! I feel like you'd have a southern accent. <laughs> I don't know why. BAM! He hit me. And I flew. It was like a scene straight out of a cartoon. Without warning or foreshadowing, completely out of the blue, he hit me, and I flew. I guess it must have slipped my mind the kind of people I was dealing with. That guy has really big fists. Super duper high schoolers. Around whom my brand of common sense has no weight, not a sliver of meaning. Of course something ridiculous was going to happen. I guess it just... Slipped my mind. My consciousness slowly drifted away. And then vanished. When I woke up, I was... Gritting noises! Gritting noises! <laughs> he's making grinning noises! I think he's making groaning noises more likely. Grinning noises. He's sitting in bed, bed just grinning, just. Mm, mm. Wh what? Well, where am I? I seem to be making a habit out of waking up in unfamiliar rooms. I anyway, back to monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> where exactly am I? You now have access your, to your Electra ID, which contains a wide variety of yep, yep, tutorials. We know this. Anyway, before we do an investigation here, I think it's about long enough to end this episode here. Would you say yep. so? I think so. All right. Bye, guys. We will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Cat X2 out.